Hi guys, this is Bell from Absom Tears Gaming, bringing you a full trophy guide for the Little Acre. Now, there is a speedrun trophy that you need to complete the game within 55 minutes. Please remember to pause the game, which will pause the in-game timer. Okay, let's get started. I will be leaving the cutscenes in the video just to keep it more easier to follow. I do recommend to pause the game in between each section so you can watch the section of the game, see what's required and then copy the guide. Just remember you've got to be pretty quick to get the speedrun trophy for completing the game in under an hour. I awoke to the sounds of Lily's gentle snores as they drifted across the bedroom loft. She was still fast asleep and I needed to keep it that way or suffer the consequences. Right, we need to get dressed pretty quickly. We need to click on the shirt. Take the stick from the dog's mouth when it's open. As you can see, you can't reach your trousers. So, press triangle, open your inventory. Use the stick to reach the trousers. Lily made a fish and marmalade sandwich for me the day before. I didn't have the heart to refuse, but I wasn't about to eat it. Pick up your boots. Boots, check. And use the sandwich on Dougal the dog. <laughs> use the stick on Dougal. He'll roll, roll over. I freed my sweater from Lily's clutches. Still Open your inventory. Use half of sandwich on the sweater. Then use a stick yet again onto the sweater. You have to wait till his mouth's open. I had to wait until his mouth was open. And now you're fully dressed. That was my cue to sneak out of there. You just need to head downstairs. First trophy. I decided I'd cycle to the nearby town. Maybe I'd find someone willing to hire me. Maybe I'd find someone who knew where my dad had gone. But first, I had a few things to take care of. First thing we need to grab is actually behind the character. I'd need water to make you have to close your inventory every time you pick something up. It's a bit annoying. Grab the stool. Dad's compatible footstool seemed like a great idea. I wasn't sure why I hadn't taken off. Now press circle and head outside. Head down the path to the water pump. Use the empty jug on the pump. Use the handle. Now head into the barn slash shed. Leaving only a small section of it protruding from the pump. It was going to take something heavy to force it down. Use the handle on the shed door. This should let you inside and walk on in.
Now you just got to pick up the pitchfork off the floor. It looked like the pitchfork had fallen from its resting place. Then head back outside. Head back to the water pump. Use the pitchfork from your inventory on the stump next to the pump. Now use your newly created pitchfork slash hammer on the um, broken pump. Pick up the newly filled jug of water. Now go head back inside the house. Once we're inside the house, we're going to head out the other door on the left side of the house. We'll head down to the mailbox. Just keep clicking on the letters, because just remember you have got a timer. Just keep clicking on them open the box, you'll read this letter, now you can't skip this, you have to wait until it reads it. I'm still finding the whole notion difficult to believe. I'm tempted to make a trip to your home to see it with my own eyes. But the fact that you keep the generator in your bedroom is quite unsettling, to say the least. If what you say about the lesser crystals is true, then I fear what may happen when this comes When the letter is finished reading, it doesn't close automatically, you have to close it. Just be ready to click on the box again, as there's a crystal inside that you need to pick up. Given the apparent results of your own experiments, it's possible they'll listen to your warning. However, it's more likely they'll see nothing other than the potential for profit. For now, I'll do my best to impede their research. Stay safe, my friend. Nina. Right, pick up the crystal. The strange crystal was obviously important to my father. I couldn't help but wonder if it had anything to do with going missing. I decided to do a little snooping around. I'll head back into the house. Once inside the house, head through the door that's right next to the ladder. Heads to the downstairs bedroom. <sighs> Dad, where are you? Now pick up the mask off the bed. Didn't really stop to think where my dad got the mask or why he wanted it. Grab the mask. And sure then we need to interact with the generator, which is the machine behind us. Dad made his own generator to power his workshop. As with his other inventions, he just refused to explain how it worked. Put the it crystal. Something missing, but I'm after bringing our inventory up. And pop that inside the slot on the lower bit of the generator. Let's see. Below the funnel. Hmm. It fits. Huh? It's... And back out of the screen. Now we need to pour in the jug of water into the funnel. To turn the dials, we need to turn the ohm switch to 4 and the weight switch to 3. Then we need to enter a code. Pop in the code that I am showing you here for our trophy. Trophy popped, then put in the correct sequence now, as I'm showing you. Now once we've done that, it will turn on the generator and turn on this device outside. Whatever I did, it caused the machine in the back garden to power up. That will power up the shed and we can go turn the light on. So start heading back out to the shed. Mm -hmm. 
Once inside the shed, switch on the light. Sure enough, the lights and whatever other equipment Dad constructed were receiving power. I wasn't sure I was getting any closer to figuring out what happened to him. When we're back in control, head all the way to the right hand side. And we're going to try and grab the item that's on top of the bookshelf on the right. Breaks the shelf. So now you need to open your inventory. Use the stool we picked up earlier and use it on the broken shelf. Go for the item again. And then just make sure you pick up the item before we actually leave. The and then head back to the house. There was a 50-50 chance that it was intended to respond to vibration or that it was simply as reliable as the stepladder. Now this device is needed for later on, we need to show it to Lily, the little girl, who's back in the house, and she does a weird dance, and you have to remember the sequence. Now there's a trophy for this dance, and you have to get it right the first time, so make sure you do a save just in case you don't get it the first time and you can always reload. It's very important not to continue if you don't achieve it the first time because if then you achieve it the second time it'll auto save over top of your save. Okay so once back in the house head over to Dougal, use the mask from your inventory. This will wake up the little girl Lily. Right, to save the game, press triangle, then you scroll down to settings, a little cog, and go to save game. Right, use the device on Lily. Uh, Lily does when in doubt, the same order is always the same no matter what playthrough you do. So choose the second one down, then the first one, then the third one, and then the fourth one. If for some reason you fail, just reload and try it again, but I'm pretty sure the sequence is the same all the time. Now pick up the key. Now we're going to head back outside the back door. Once outside, make another save. And it's going to be for the hint trophy. So, go down to the notes, keep pressing hint, hint, hint. A trophy should pop. Then, immediately after, load the game. And we can continue with the no hint trophy. Should come at the end of the game. Once we're in the shed, we're going to use the key on this weird looking device thing in the center. Looks about the right side. Hey! Ah! So now we're in control of Lily for the first time. So to start with, we need to click on the table behind us, Look, Dougal, and she has to make ready. some porridge. Make it it's porridge. So you click know? on the bag of oats, and we'll notice it's Dougal, empty. Bag of oats. Prepare to be eaten. 
Hey, wait a minute. It's empty! So, after this, we need to make yet another save. Yet again, we need to do it in the first attempt. If we fail, you need to reload. Click on Dougal, then click on the door. This distracts Dougal. Quickly, move up to the bag at the top of the screen called Oats, and she will climb the bookcase. You'll know you've succeeded uh, if she actually gets the bag and Dougal comes and serves. Now from here we're going to click on the pot next to the fire. We want to use Dougal with the cupboard. Dougal, attack that string. That breakfast wasn't going to prepare itself. Why didn't Granddad invent something like that? That breakfast wasn't going to prepare itself. Why didn't Granddad invent something like that? Now go over to the cupboard. Click on the prep table again. And she should go ahead and make a porridge. Should switch back to the other character, Aiden. For a moment, I wondered where I was. Then I noticed everything was different. I was different, but it was when I thought of Lily that it no longer mattered why. I couldn't let her think that she had lost someone else. I think he actually pressed the X button to get up. I'm not someone too sure. Had left their belongings on the floor of the strange room. After glancing over the items, I realized some of them belonged to my dad. Alright, so once you got control back, you need to go pick up the hat on the left. It was unusual to see dad without his hat, and vice versa. But then again, it was noticeably warmer than home. I decided to take it with me. And then pick up the orb that's underneath it. Now what we've got to do is put it into two slots very quickly uh, after one another. So try and use your inventory as it opens automatically when you collect an item. Maybe make a save, just to be on the safe size. Now go over here, equip the orb, say put it in the left slot. As soon as it appears back that you can pick it back up, pick it back up. And then go down in your inventory and put it into the second slot. If you do it quick enough it should open the door. If it doesn't, just reload the save uh, and, and try it again. There was just enough power to distribute to the door release. It took a large amount of power to get me here. Logic dictated that it would take something similar to get me home. I was going to have to venture outside to find it. And in the back of my mind, I hoped that I might find my father along the way. without telling us. Oh well, time to go to work. Now we need to walk to the right hand side with Lily. 
interact with the spanner on the left sticking out the tractor engine then interact with the engine again I took the stretchy rope from the tractor every adventurer needs rope interact with the hall on the left where the call is Head right, equip the rope, and use it on the tree branch. Granddad would have been proud of my giant slingshot. Huh. Now yeah. she's not strong enough I to enough use it herself. So to save a bit of time, use the bone with Dougal. to find a job. He's probably gone to town for that exact reason. So until then, we've got to do our best to help out. Hey, Breeze! You didn't pay for that! Good thing wings can't ride bikes. Wait. So when we find ourselves down here, we need to use a sword on the gnome. With gnome out of the way, I was free to start looking for dad. And now we want to head back into the house. In this section, we need to use these lamps, these little glowy things, uh, which gets us across some stepping stones to get across the water. But you've got to use a certain sequence to get across. Okay, so click on the first one. Then go across. Click on the second one. Go across. Do not click the next one. Go across to the blue orb. Then come back on yourself. Across the one stepping stone. Down to the second orb. And don't click it. And just go across to exit. Pretty simple really. Once back with Lily, go back into the bedroom where the generator is, under the ladder. Now go interact with the teddy. Come on, Sir Fuzzlepuff. Sir Fuzzlepuff. This one's a repetitive one. You need to keep jumping up and down on the button. Makes a blind go up and down. I think you've got to do it ten times for the trophy to pop. Line goes up. Line goes down. Line goes up. Line goes down. Line goes up. When you do get to the end of the game, and if you didn't get the speedrun trophy, this is the kind of stuff that you need to cut out on your second playthrough. Now, I'm pretty sure that you will make it in one run, even by uh, by doing the these repetitive trophies. Line goes up. Line goes down. Line goes up. Line goes down. Line goes up. Head back out of the room and head back to the back garden. Now 
now head down to the shed. We need to go into the weird teleporty device. But first, grab the paper on the back wall. Going to inventory, use the teddy on the portal device. Adventure machine. Godspeed, Sir Puzzle Puff. Whoa! He's gone. Of all the souls I have encountered in my travels, his was the most. Going to your inventory again once you get control back. Go Dougal, this must to be the paper. Went. What if something happened? I need to go and back to use them. it on Dougal. Then jump into the portal. Adventure machine, even. As I wandered deeper into the swamp, I began to feel uneasy. From now we have some more stepping stones to do in sequence to get across the water. So once we get control, we need to click on the first one. Ignore the second one. Keep going round in a clockwise fashion. Go down to the third one. Click that. And continue up and click the fourth one. Cross the separate stones, go back down to the one that we ignored. Click that one. I should let you cross to where the exit is. Click on this one. It gets you across to the blue one. Click the blue one. And this should bring you back to more or less where you started. Go down to yep, the furthest one, click, go across, ignore the next one, go back to the middle one, click and go across to the exit. Now just walk forward and you get some sort of cutscene. Okay, so in the next section, when it goes back to Lily, the little girl, you need to very quickly equip your sword when the 
monster from the waters attack her. Now you need to get this pretty quick because you have no time to save the game so you have to do it straight away. Now click on the first lantern, lamp, orb, whatever it is. Now don't panic, you do, um, you do get a fair bit of time to be able to do it. Now as soon as you see as you've got control back, see I equipped the sword beforehand and moved. As the monster's got you, open your inventory, get the sword and you need to click on his tongue ASAP. Don't panic, it's part of the game, he still eats you. My people lived here once long ago. They had machines, kept us warm, safe. Now I am alone, and the machines not work. Well, I'll take a look, but if I do, will you help me get home? By fixing machine, you return home. So it's the same generator that powers the lab. Okay, show me. Now at this point I hold the left analog stick down so that you know that you've got control of the character. Otherwise you could be stood there for a while, you just got to follow the character Mer into his lab. Head forward a little bit. Once you've got control, head to the left and you'll see a glove on the floor. You need to pick that up. And then head through the archway on the right hand side. Once through the archway you need to use the glove on the blue light. Whoa! Careful. Careful! Right, right. The crystal hidden behind the wall looks similar to the one I had seen earlier that day. Now you need to head back towards Mer, the character. Use the crystal on the right hand side of the machine. <laughs> then we need to move forward a little bit to where that black creature is hiding in that hole. Use that receptacle on that hole. And then head back to where the glove was. You should find a screwdriver. Now you need to head back through the archway and head up the spiral staircase and use the screwdriver on the plant at the top. Before using the screwdriver on the plant, make sure you interact with it first. And you need to do that 10 times for our miscellaneous trophy. There was a large bulbous plant blocking a pipe at the top of the stairs. It felt like it was full of water. Just do it as quickly as possible and when the trophy pops use the screwdriver on the plant.
once you've used a screwdriver on the plant, it should release loads of water and fill up the pool. Head back down, just past the machine, and you should see like another archway. Um, this is where you input the code that is reflected in the pool. Does this radio also belong to my father? In one corner of the room were several flowers laid out in a grid pattern. There was something familiar about it. Right, input the sequence as follows. Hey, I think that worked. Hey, what are you doing? Head up the hill and you'll see this strange caterpillar looking creature. And now there's quite a long cutscene. friend of your father's. I... I've been out here for a while thinking about how to say this in a way that you'd believe me, but then... But then, about a minute ago, I heard that sound. You've been there, haven't you? To Clonfira. Yes, and I need to get back there. My... You mustn't go back there! It's dangerous! Your father... He was killed! I'm so sorry! He... he what? Lily! Lily's there! And Clonfira! You have to help me bring her home, please! Oh my god! Come with me! We need to get to my lab! Hurry! But then he spat me out. He's probably not used to his food poking him with a sword. And then I saw you! Although, you already knew that bit. You're a good listener, like Dougal. Hey, what's your name, by the way? Mm, well, you're like a big bug, so I'm gonna call you Bugsy, okay? So, will you help me find my family? Okay! Once you get control, you need to click on the vine that's hanging down on the top right-hand corner. Top of the screen. I might be able to climb this. Oof! Or not. Now, interact with Bugsy, your new friend, and you should be able to interact with him with the ledge above you. Hey, Bugsy, give me a boost. Now you need to head over to the flower. Head towards the gate, go through. Come on then. Hey. Oh, look at that thing. 
thing. It's like a bat squirrel. Once you get control, you need to head over to the right hand side, and as you head up there, you should see a small object towards the right flower. You need to go pick it up and go back down and pass it back to Bugsy. Once you've passed it to Bugsy, you should be able to smell out the creature that ran off. Trust me. Smell this. Whichever flower is looking at, just head up to the flower and you should be able to Wait jump here. inside. I'll be right back. Okay, I don't have any more crystals of the type Arthur used, but I have this. Wait, why can't we just use that with my father's machine? Because we don't want to blow up the whole countryside. I'll explain when we get to my lab. I'm hoping that I'll be able to send you to Clemphira from here, but they're not going to just let me bring someone into the building. You should be able to sneak in through the side entrance. Just make sure no one sees you. I'll go on ahead and get started. See you soon. Hang on, Lily. I'm on the way. Once we have control back, you should be able to click on the walkway uh, down the side of the dam. If you click on the ladder, it speeds things up a little bit. Now use the mask on the cat. This will scare the cat. was locked. Of course it was. Somebody Look underneath the flower pot. You should find a key. And you can use the key on the padlock on the grate. Now use the padlock on the door so the guy cannot escape. I'm usually a stickler for avoiding fire hazards, but this was for the greater good. Then open the great door and the cat should go inside. The guys open the window, throw the cat out, and he leaves the window open, which allows you to get inside. My new psychic had left me with a way in. I'd made it into the canteen. If you head towards the microwave the oven, there, which isn't a microwave, it's an oh. oven. You should be able to go out the window or just above it. If I'd known earlier that I'd be standing on a narrow ledge above a hydroelectric dam, I wouldn't have gone out of bed that way. They have a time section here. You have to click towards Nina's lap on the right hand side as you're moving across ah! the Whoa. bird interacts with you. Drops a feather and you have to interact with the feather. 
Then use the feather while your inventory is open on the cat. Now continue to make your way across the ledge. Head up the stairs, go into the door. Then we're on to a cutscene. There you are. What took you so long? Once Look, you've got control back, mind. you just need to need exit to the room. There's nothing you I'm need to do just yet. Here, but I need something else for this to work. A cavity magnetron should do the trick. The easiest one to get is probably from the microwave, microwave oven upstairs. upstairs. I'll finish up here. Let me know when you've got it. Head down the steps, walk to the right hand side, and go inside the lift. Head towards the microwave slash oven. Don't click on the window, make sure you click on the oven. The microwave oven was in use, but I didn't have time to wait. Now head back out the window. At least there's no sign of the bird this time. There was one thing people always said not to do in these situations. And that was it. There was one thing people always said not to do in these situations. And that was it. Now use the magnetron on the waterfall below you for a miscellaneous trophy pot. Then head towards Nina's lab. Now you need to equip the Megatron and give it to Nina. Great, thank you. This will just take a moment. Alright, I followed your father's design as closely as I could. Put this on. Now this crystal is different from the others, much more powerful. With the lesser crystals, you need to find a place where the fabric of our reality is already weakened. But with Eventually, it will create a new portal. Right and once you've got Aim control way. back, you need to walk all the way around the table because you can't actually get past Nina. Interact with the portal, go through. Aiden, be careful. Give me that. Oh. I walk forward, walk to the top. Granddad. No. It's 
quite a few cutscenes. Now we're back as Aiden and we need to basically walk down this path. Keep walking down. I'm pretty close to the end of the game. Lily, Just keep following. Lily. Again, walk down. There you are. What are you doing here? Come on, we have to get Lily. Eventually get control back of Lit and we have to go rescue her dad. Right, now we're reunited with Bugsy. Bugsy! I thought I lost you too. Maybe it's not too late to save my dad. Dad! Granddad! You're okay! What? Mommy? What? No. Nice bit of a time section here. We need to click square for that. Which distracts the monster. And click on Bugsy. And use Bugsy on the ledge above you. Just to the right of you. Bugsy was already doing everything he could to stop the monster eating my dad. If it fails, try again. So press square. Distract with that. Then click on Bugsy. With X. And go time. to the ledge just above you. Books here lift you up. Walk across the ledge. Use the vine on the monster. Then use Bugsy on the vine. Use the vine on the pillar just below you, the turret. We've got control, we need to move okay, to I'm the so left. Worried. I was looking for you and Grandad. Lily. Grandad. I know. Can we go home now? Wait. Mur. He stole the glove. We needed to get home. Come on, quick. We can't get stuck in this place. Right, now move down to the left. And 
and you need to follow Mare. No! Just go, Dad! Stop him! Wait right there! When you have control again, you have in control of Lily, you need to walk upwards, back through the doorway, towards the generator. Continue walking upwards and walk past the generator to the pool of water just behind. You should be able to use X and you should be able to view what's going on in this weird projector thing behind the pool. Here comes Dougal to the rescue. Ah! Right, now when something. you're back in control you can go down here and hey, this should be, be able to get the glove, glove again. When you're back in control, you should be able to interact with the glove again and you should be able to pick it up. I'm not making this up. No, I I believe you. Look, when the portal closes, the radio will stop working. If that happens, I promise I'll come back to get you somehow. Just stay safe. Why is he doing this? Our world sustains his kind better than his own ever could. Uh, it's complicated. They left him behind long ago. I suppose he just wants to see them again, even at the cost of hurting other people. He wants to see them again? Maybe I could give him what he wants. Lily, don't do anything. Just stay put. Now we need to move downwards and walk right, walk back where you came from, where the monster is. Use the glove on the gas coming out of his mouth. Okay, you big monster. You owe me. Click X on the monster, the, on the vine, Ooh, here comes Bugsy, and your other friend, who for some reason has been quite helpful, uh, sends you through the portal. And there you go, that's the end of the game. Fingers crossed you should get your speedrun trophy. You should also get the other trophy if I'm not using any hints at all. That is if you did reload your game. Fingers crossed you did. So after this cutscene your trophy should pop. Hope you've enjoyed the guide. I uh, left it pretty simple.
I don't know if the guide worked. Just remember, it's under an hour. And when you do pause the game, it does stop the timer. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, this is Bell from Absent for Tears Gaming, bringing to you the full platinum guide for Little Acre. Thanks once again for watching, guys. Have a good one. Catch you very soon. Bye.